And then here this afternoon or this evening, Prime Minister Trudeau will be here, right up on there on that stage. They're just getting him set up right now. He's going to be in downtown Halifax this afternoon and then over here this evening for a talk at the Sportsplex, where I go for physio. But right over there is where he's going to be. They are apparently removing the stage and putting it at a different end. Or they're going to do something because they're taking it all down now. And uh, he'll be here in the province. Uh, I think his flight lands just after 3 o'clock. It's a Government of Canada flight. It's not a private flight. It's not a charter flight, which is why the Prime Minister's gotten into a bit of hot water. You're going to hear about that in the news this afternoon. In fact, uh, very first time ever that a sitting Prime Minister was uh, the subject of uh, an investigation from the you know, conflict of interest watchdogs. First time ever, ever. We're going to some of the questions ahead of uh, Justin Trudeau's visit. Of course, we'll ask him about that and some of the other things that have come up. Um, some are asking, okay, well, what about this? Uh, shouldn't charity be good at home? I mean, that's a big issue for a lot of you. And we know that this woman who uh, you know, criticized the Prime Minister at an event in Ontario earlier in the week over you know, trying to pay her power bill, uh, people actually threatened her life online. Go figure. I was going to say something else rude, but I, I don't want to lose her license before the Prime Minister gets on the air. Uh, really? Come on. We'll have an open conversation, a chat with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. That'll happen after 3.30 this afternoon. News update next. More of our show right after that. Visiting the Jabba Blank coffee shop on North Street in the city's north end. Then tonight a public town hall is being held at the Jarvis Sportsplex with the Prime Minister hosted by Mayor Mike Savage. Trudeau will also be appearing on the Sheldon McLeod Show on News 95.7 this afternoon at 3.30 for a special interview while he's in town. A programming note that will mean our afternoon news wheel will be pushing back its start time to four o'clock. So after physio, I decided to go into Wendy's to grab a double stack four dollar value meal, the same price it is in the U.S. Or is it? Because it's actually cheaper. But anyway, so because due to exchange rates, the burger up here in Canada works up to three dollars and four cents for the burger, the fries, and the drink. So it's actually ninety six cents cheaper to buy your burger here in Canada. Yeah, the police pulled this truck over here as he was about to make a turn and had no idea why he was pulled over. Later on, uh, they did give him a ticket, but uh, we were just sitting there eating our burger and um, I said, hey, you know, I'm going to vlog this because this could be interesting. And I have no idea what he did. It may have went through a stop sign just up in the parking lot there. Um, but what's funny is these guys come up and sit behind the police car knowing that this guy has been pulled over and of course he is in the outbound lane and there's only one inbound it's more comical sitting here watching people <laughs> pull up behind the police car yeah we don't know if he stopped it but no he's, he's, he should know that no lights fast he's not moving no okay but this guy here there was a car on the right side on the left side going down a lane which mm -hmm. they made a lane for and then he pulls up on the right to get by him knowing that he can't get through. And of course there was two police in the car and um, you know they won't get out in direct traffic because it's A is too cold or it's it's, like they're not show. in traffic that division so like of course they won't do that so um, that's just by. the way things work in this city. If you're not in that division you don't do it. And this guy was here for about 10-15 minutes and it was kind of chaotic just watching the traffic.